Hello everyone. I am glad to share with you the group's performance during the first half of 2022. The start of the year was marked by a very particular context, with the improvement in the pandemic situation contrasting with the severe disruption caused by the beginning of a military conflict in Europe. The war in Ukraine and its consequences, namely in terms of inflationary pressures, rising energy costs and disruption in supply chains, led to increasing challenges at a global scale. Despite this context, our businesses delivered a remarkable performance. In these first six months of the year, Sonai's turnover grew 8% to 3.4 billion euros. Operational profitability improved 11% to nearly 320 million euros. And the group's net result reached almost 120 million euros in this period, well above the figures registered in the same periods of 2021 and 2019, the last pre-pandemic period. These consolidated results were driven by different dynamics across each of our businesses. For MC, this was another quarter of strong growth, fueled by the positive performances of both food and non-food formats, with Continent helping Portuguese families manage their grocery budgets in an increasingly challenging context. This allowed the company to strengthen its leadership in a highly competitive market and reinforce its position as the most trusted brand for Portuguese consumers. In the second quarter, Vorten posted a positive operational performance across all geographies, particularly in Portugal, where the company continued to strengthen its competitive position, both offline and online, and also continued to improve on its already leading digital value proposition and services offering. At Zeitreel, we continued to see a recovery trend in our fashion banners, with increased levels of profitability enhanced by sales growth, with total revenues already at pre-pandemic levels. At ISRG, the past six months have been truly outstanding for our sports retail group, with consistent double-digit growth and stronger results. The recently acquired businesses are also posting positive performances, contributing to diversify the company's omni-channel offer and strengthen its international profile. For Universo, this was another quarter of growth, maintaining the positive trajectory after the transition into a new business model that marked last year's activity. The Universal Card client base reached the milestone of 1 million users this quarter, further establishing itself as one of the most important credit cards in Portugal with a digital attacker mindset. Brightpixel maintained the active management of its portfolio in the first six months of the year and saw the net value of its portfolio increase to 416 million euros with a cash invested of 171 million euros, which clearly reflects the value created by this business over time. At Sierra, Operational activity continued to evolve positively, not only due to the performance of our shopping centers, which was already above 2019 levels, but also by the positive dynamics that we continued to witness in the services activity and also in new development projects, which increase our confidence in the future of the company. Lastly, Nosh maintained a good growth pace in the quarter across all segments, maintaining a steady execution of its strategy, namely around 5G deployment, which now positions Nosh as the operator with the best mobile network in the country as well as the development of several initiatives that reinforce its role as a key partner in supporting Portuguese companies on their digital transformation paths. In consolidated terms, we were able to maintain a very solid financial position. We increased our total investment, which surpassed 560 million euros in the last 12 months, while simultaneously reducing the group's debt level compared to the same period of last year, by more than 390 million euros. This reflects the positive operational performance of our businesses, but also our ability to create value from our portfolio management activity. We are naturally aware of the huge uncertainty we are living in and of the unfavorable headwinds that the macroeconomic environment might bring in future months. But we are certain of the path we want to follow, a path of innovation, speed and growth, anchored on a very strong culture and on a sense of mission which unites us all at Sonai. We are very proud of this purpose-driven culture and we know this will be key for our future success. Thank you.